Hi everyone, this is Dave with Foamers.net bringing you part two how to make a custom widget and we're going to be using recycle code uh, from an existing theme in this case it's the default theme for WordPress which is a theme called uh, 20, 2010 you can actually do this with any theme but just to simplify things and make it um, more easy for you to understand we're just using the default theme if you missed the previous video this is part two we kind of introduced you to widgets and what they are how to find them within the admin area and how easy it is to just kind of drag and drop things and the goal of this tutorial is to um, make a, a custom widget that will display up here right here on the uh, on the header so that we can um, display some maybe a banner there uh, so that uh, if we have a client that wants to display some ads up there they can easily uh, you know just just drop the code uh, uh, for the for the ad up here or the image the banner uh, and not have to call you each time uh, to to rewrite uh, the code or edit the file so since we're using recycle code what we first need to do is edit the files uh, within WordPress that actually have that code that we're going to recycle so um, I'm going to open up Dreamweaver for this example and uh, we're going to go and take a look at that file at those files uh, here's the the WordPress basic structure uh, directory structure you have WordPress slash content and then themes is where all the themes are kept and then 2010 is the theme that we're using so it would be whatever the name of your theme is and the files that we're going to edit for this are the functions file the header the sidebar and the style sheet ultimately to make things look nice uh, so let's open up the functions file and uh, right off the bat there's a lot of code there's about uh, something like 512 lines of code here so what we want to do is use this little neat feature of, of uh, Dreamweaver lets you find something that you're looking for find and replace so we open up this dialog box and just put in widgets find next and right away it takes us to the registered uh, widgetized areas within the theme so that we know we're in the right place this is where the code that we will be needing it's about uh, line 365 uh, something like that within this theme and we go down here just a little bit lower uh, we see this function here that starts with uh, with um, the function 2010 widgets uh, and right here this area one located at the top of the sidebar this looks familiar it says primary widget area if you go back to WordPress uh, here you see that it also says primary widget area so we want to create one of these areas here um, and ultimately make that uh, display up in the header so let's go back over to Dreamweaver and what we're gonna do is quite simply just uh, select this right here control C copy it and we'll paste it right above it control V and now we have two uh, same same code here so we're going to change some some little things about it here uh, we'll say header widget area call that the header and we'll say header here also and primary we'll say the header widget area here and uh, that is about everything you need to change to make this a unique area uh, that wouldn't won't um, have uh, any there won't be any confliction with any of the other uh, area widget areas when they are called uh, by just simply changing uh, some of the the names uh, that define this area as uh, unique basically uh, we want to save this and we are going to upload uh, the functions files back up to our server and once that's done looks like it's done we're going to go back to Dreamweaver or back to WordPress and now uh, notice that we have the primary widget we have the secondary and these are all the de default areas here we're going to refresh and our new header widget area will appear here it is Ta -da! really nice so that's now ready to go and I've actually run out